This is our Mealy W Classic washing machine. It's about two or three years old. Oh, and the dog come to help. It's a model WDA 101 and we have been having some problems with uh, getting an F11 drainage error and I'll go through the steps that I go through to try and solve the error in fairly logical order. The first thing to check on a drainage error is that the drain that you're draining into is not blocked. So it could be into a U-bend, it might be down one of those pipes in the side of the kitchen. Um, we drained ours into the, uh, a spare sink in the utility room and so we knew there wasn't a blockage in the thing we're draining into. Next thing to check is the outlet filter. Different mealies appear to have different ways of opening this. I think the European ones are common. You open the soap drawer and in the back of the soap drawer there's this little yellow clip. The clip that holds the yellow clip I've broken. Ours is usually held on by a rubber band. You take the clip off. And that opens like that. The yellow tog is the door, manual door open button. Now we need to catch the water that comes out of the machine that might still be in it. There can be a lot of water in here. You may have to empty your container a few times. So have a look in there. Make sure there's nothing in there blocking it. Stick your finger down the side. Nothing in there. There's a little impeller at the back. Check that that turns. It should be a little bit resistive, little sort of elastic. Yes, mine turns nicely. Thing. Take this bit apart. Push the tabs on the sides here slightly out. Make sure that's all clean, nothing caught in it. Then push it back together again. So let's take off that pipe. It's a seven millimeter socket you can use or a screwdriver, doesn't matter. I'll just pull off there. So progressively with this machine, first we need to take the top off and then we need to get the side off. But to get the side off on this machine, you need to take the front off. First, we need to take out these plastic pieces. I tried with a screwdriver, but it started to make a mess. I've actually found the best way is a really sharp knife. Slide it under the back, just so if it's ever looked at from the front. Two little lugs, they just pop off really easily. I'll do the same on the other side. Next, you'll need a T20 Torx drive or star drive. You can use a bit or a T20 screwdriver. Undo these screws at the side, but don't take them all out, out all the way. Just take them out till they're flush with the casing. I've done the one on the other side, so now we should just find that the lid will lift and slide backwards and lift off. So now we need to check the outlet. To open this is a little bit odd. It took me a while to work out how, but basically you pull this tab slightly out and then rotate the top and it lifts off. And you see there's a little ball in there. You don't know how I grabbed that before. And behind the ball, you can see there's a pipe that runs from inside. There's the little yellow ball. Can you see it? And runs to the outside here. And you stick your finger up there. And if necessary, just run some water in and see whether that's clear on my machine. It was clear. So to take the side off, we then first have to take the front off. First operation, flat screwdriver, both sides here, and take this kick plate off. That just folds down. Next job is take off the door latch, again a T20. Then we need to take the rubber off the door, pair of pliers. That ring comes off and then you'll find that the rubber just pulls out. And we 
the gag stays attached to the drum. And then we need our T20 to undo two screws at the bottom. Now we need a T30, slightly bigger Torx or star bit. At this point you're going to need to start supporting the front. And it just drops slowly. Off these two white pegs at the front. There's a white peg here and a white peg here. It just drops off those and that's the front off. to the side screws with our T20. There were in fact three on the front. Take that one out. And top screws again with the T20. Looking in the side of the machine down there is the drain from the drum into the pump we saw earlier, past the impeller and out of this pipe here. Up into this chamber, comes up past the little bubble and out of the back. So let's take off this pipe first and check in this chamber, make sure that's clean. The bottom of the pipe is easy, just squeeze the clip with some pliers Move the clip off the junction and then pull it away gently, like so. The other end of the clip is attached to that chamber. One T20 screw to undo. You'll notice this isn't a metal screw, this is a plastic screw, so keep that one aside. It's not the same as all the other ones. So the back of the chamber just drops down, hello dog again, like this, and then pops through the hole. The chamber is loose on the inside, and then it's a case of just moving the drum out of the way with a bit of a shove and pulling it out. pipe comes off you can see where they line up there's a little white line and a bit of a line in the plastic those two will come apart quite easily then you can flush this bit through and you can check what's in here you can probably hold it up to the light and because it's a little bit translucent I have a thing called a boroscope these are quite cheap on eBay I can shove this up here and have a look inside the pipe make sure it's clean you could just stick a long pipe cleaner through, to be honest. And again, with my boroscope, I was able to look in here and check that there's nothing in there. Okay, now it's time to take off the rest of the black piping to check for any blockages. Cross T20 again. Take out that screw. That clip can now come off. off there. Bottom of this pipe another squeeze with the pliers. Take the clip back, give that a pull. Pop that into the machine there. This one's already loose. This one, remove that tab and that tab towards you. And that drops off there. And that whole lot comes out. These undo by pulling off again. Make sure they line up. And then you can clean out all of this using pipe cleaners, anything you can shove up the pipes, and if you have a boroscope, have a look inside and see if anything's blocked. Next job is to remove the pipe from the bottom of the drum, check there's nothing in it, because there could be stuff that, something in it that is floating around in here and blocking the outlet intermittently, which was what was happening on our machine. So we take that clip off, that pulls off there. Two screws in here. The one you want to undo is the top one. 
when that's loose this will just pull down and be ready for water in a catch bowl we actually found coins and bits of metal in there and now i'm going to take this piece to the sink clean it there's a little ball in here there's a second uh, screw there to undo to take this plastic piece off and clean all in there thing to check is the pressure switch which tells the machine how much water is in it if the machine doesn't empty enough then it will stop the uh, emptying cycle there's a pipe from here in this plastic piece here that's like a pressure chamber and when that's emptied with water it draws a vacuum on the tube that's attached to the top of it and that goes up to a pressure switch up there and that's how it tells how much water's in it you can pull this pipe off and you can pull this pipe off here and you can make sure that's clean which mine is i got some pipe cleaners into the pressure switch from the bottom which is up underneath the hole that we just made um, you can take this off i've seen a guy in russia do it you have to pull a peg out that's here unfortunately my peg broke so i can't take it out i'm going to have to drill that out and then this put this pushes off really really hard um, and you need grease to push it back in again um, so I can't do that. That may be the problem with my machine.